once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. The wolf brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They decided to head south to the distant land of their ancestors. But the journey was long and dangerous. Still, the wolf brothers made new friends on the way. They learned more about the world, but danger seemed to always follow them after a bad accident. They were separated. The big brother had been hurt, and the hunters finally captured him. They put him in a cage, but when he finally escaped, he went to search for his little brother. He soon found out that the little wolf had joined a coyote cult, and he would not leave them. Suddenly, their mother showed up after all that time. She said she came to help rescue him. They begged the coyote leader, but she would not release the little wolf. He was their idol. So they had to knock her out to escape. The wolf brothers, now reunited, followed their rogue mother far into the desert to her hideaway. Wake up, Sean. Mm. Dude, come on. What? What time is it? Get up. It's so beautiful. Check it out. So? Yeah, okay. Good call. Wow. That's amazing. I know. Is your eye okay? Yeah. It just itches. It's okay, Nana. I... Promise. Yeah. Uh, okay. I love you. No matter what happens. You hear me? Yeah. I love you too.
<laughs> Diaz brothers. Always. So, are you still having those bad dreams? You know, about Lisbeth? Yeah. Sometimes, I feel like she's around, coming after me. It's scary. <laughs> Dude, I bet she's having nightmares about you. Yeah. But she's still out there. Somewhere. Creeps me out. Without you, she has no power. We're all good. Hope so. Sean. Are we criminals now? Sort of. We did a lot of... illegal shit. If the cops catch us, we'll be judged for what we did. That's for sure. Yeah. I know. Well, we're almost at the border. Finally. I like it here, but... We'll have to leave soon. I know. I'm sorry, Anna. Sean, I know it's been a long time. Can you tell me the rest of the wolf story? Oh. Yeah. I can tell you. <sighs> been forever since we left off. Way too long. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, thanks to their mama wolf, the Wolf Brothers barely escaped from the Coyote cult. She led them to her secret lair, deep in the Red Desert. The Wolf Brothers rested for a while, but at some point, they'd have to continue their journey south. They were closer than ever to their father's land, but between them and their destination, Lied. A mighty fire unicorn. <laughs> but she's nice, so they become friends. <laughs> uh, um, excuse me. Who's telling the story? You are. But it's my story too. Right? <laughs> yeah. That's true. Okay, then. So what happens next? Uh, they, they arrive in Mexico, but the country is rampaged by goblins. Together, the wolves and the unicorn manage to slay them and become heroes. The police forgives them, and all their friends come to Mexico to celebrate. <laughs> yeah. Sounds pretty good, and I know. Let's pack this shit up and head back to town. Gotta clean up our stuff before we leave. This place is too pretty. I'm glad we had these. Not a fan of desert critters. Every star looked the same until we used Karen's old guidebook. I swear Dad had that same book in the garage. Yeah, I think he did. 
Why did he never show it to us? Maybe it reminded him of Mom too much. Oh. Yeah. Right. Hey, I can help. Just tell me what you want to put in there. You are the man. So incredible to see all those stars and planets up close. <laughs> it's like we're right there. I hope we can go watch the stars again. Mom said there's a moon eclipse coming up soon. <laughs> I'm in. This place is cool. I could just move here. hurts a little. I'm glad we're sleeping in our beds and... God damn. That food was amazing. <laughs> Thanks, Joanne. Yep. Still need our processed sugar in this hippie desert. Pretty useless with the crazy moonlight we had. <laughs> but it scares the coyotes away. Activate flashlight. On the way. God damn. That food was amazing. God damn. That food was amazing. Let's clean up this mess. Thanks, Joey. Not if it cleans up by itself. Stop. Daniel. Can't catch it. Huh? No shit. Now cut it out. Jeez. You're no fun. Yo, Captain Cam, can you take these away? Sure. And no funny business. Of course not. Perfect formation. Ooh, 
stitching time. Good idea. I'm glad you can still draw after. You know. <laughs> Me too, Daniel. But if I can see it in my mind, I can still sketch anything. Hmm. Almost. That's so cool. I don't want you to stop trying. Ever. <laughs> Thanks, man. This is so cool. Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. This power is so cool. I love tie-dye and stuff now. Hey, can you draw me as a superhero? Like, striking a pose over the canyon. Ruff looks cool, but messy. Should I keep going? Tada. Finished. Let me check it out. Oh, man. I do look like a mighty superhero. That's so cool. We better get out of here before that heat comes in. Well, let's hit the trail, cowboy. What are you doing? What the fuck, dude? Don't do that. What's wrong? Stop messing with it, man. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, little guy. Don't get eaten by eagles. Do eagles eat scorpions? No idea. <laughs> cool. Let's go. I wish we saw more falling stars. Or any. <laughs> That's what you get for taking a piss when the only one fell. I know. He tried to warn me. At least we got to see Mars. That was so cool Arthur and Stanley let us use the telescope. Hey, see this? Looks like the ones you did back in that cabin. When you got sick. Oh, totally. Wait, does that mean other people were here? Of course. Maybe someone from away did it. Oh. I bet it was Joanne. Uh, yeah. These guys are real cool. Amazing that anything can grow out right here. Does it ever rain in the desert? Well... Oh. Uh, good question. Didn't Joanne will let me help her with her sculpture when we get back? Hell yeah. You're like the magic assistant. It's nice to be able to use my power out here. Not hide it. Yeah. Karen was right. They're all cool with it. Mom doesn't say much about my power. Why do you think? Hmm. 
Hmm. I think she's in denial. What do you mean? Karen... <laughs> kind of acts like you don't have a power. Maybe... You know, I could have done it by myself, right? Hey, let me be the cool, helpful big brother once in a while. Looks like a job for our local super psychic boy. My legs are gonna be like. Looks like a job for our local super out. psychic boy. So, maybe you can help us get out of here? Mm, I'll try. Step back. Be super careful. There you go. I hope it's okay. <laughs> nice, man. see what Joanne is doing. <laughs> Go for it. I have to bring back the telescope to Stanley and Arthur. Went to town for weekly supplies. Some pancakes left in the kitchen? <laughs> back soon. Daniel, you copy? Yes, I read you. 10 4. I have a pancake alert in the kitchen. Repeat pancake alert. Oh, man. Sorry. I was going to eat with Joanne. Over and out. 10 4. No flying pancakes today. Nice mess. <laughs> Daniel will never change. Still can't believe she's kept it. It's nice to play games with Daniel again. <laughs> Karen likes to join us too. Karen practices what she preaches. She barters with her food, not money. Excuse me, water boy. Did you remember to feed the crops? I never forget. Ask mom. But no way I could grow stuff like she can. Mm, maybe in Mexico. Oh, yeah. We can grow a lot of stuff there. We could also try to be self-sufficient when we're in Mexico. Dude, we could put red food coloring in the water and turn this into a blood tank. Yeah, but then everybody would freak out. Plus, you can't do food coloring out here. Karen taught me some cool off-the-grid shit.
caught a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. Okay. Just draw now. Don't think about anything else. Caught a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. Now I can see why Karen likes it out here. It just took a while. She really doesn't want to be a part of society. <laughs> Except just this tiny one. She did screw us over, though. But Daniel's so happy to have her back. Get to know her. I still don't know how I feel. Looking at this place, I see that Karen... Arthur and Stanley probably want their telescope back. <laughs> Karen has been camping in her own house since we arrived. Either Karen was desperate for a job, or she loved working with kids. She's really good at rewriting her own life. Whoa. I hope Karen sends this to Claire and Steven.
Karen doesn't even like to leave this place just to go shopping. Karen must have been so excited to finally hit New York. Looks like they all finally found their home. Karen looks so young and fragile on this picture. Hmm. Hard times. I'm so glad Jacob and his sister are doing okay. They deserve some peace. So cute. <laughs> Looks like Lila has some competition now. Daniel's Big Ten late birthday party made him feel so happy. I do remember Karen would drown her pancakes in hot sauce. Ugh, gross. She was that close. Sucks she had to pay all that money back. Huh. Is that the same person who rode her back in Beaver Creek? Man, I'm still not used to this heat out here. So good to have a home. Again. And a real bed. Didn't realize how much I miss Cassidy's voice. And her songs. And... Oh, dude. I didn't realize how much I miss Cassidy's voice and her songs and, oh, dude, so good to have a home 
again. And a real bed. Karen... Dad was an absolute fan of this movie. Huh. Maybe they were nerds together. Ugh. Wish Karen didn't tell me she got a rattlesnake out of the toilet last week. <sighs> Gotta keep my eye lube handy. <sighs> Glad I don't need it as much. She changed my diapers, but... <sighs> it feels kind of awkward to be here. Had no clue there was a network of seed pirates. <sighs> Karen's a real life hacker. Karen takes on some small piece works for a living. <sighs> Must pay better than poetry. One thing Claire and Karen have in common, their love for pancakes. should have gone through that flash drive weeks ago. Hey, Dad. Lila always knew how to crack me up. Whoa. Lila always knew how to crack me up. Whoa. I should have gone through that flash drive. Hey, Dad. Lila always knew how to crack me up. Whoa. Lila always knew how to crack me up. Come in. You copy out there? Over. 10-4. Told you I'm with Joanne. So, come on over. Um, more like no service anywhere. I should bring the telescope back to Arden's stand before I forget. Yeah. Daniel still misses Chris. Hey. Your Captain Spirit drawing... was awesome. Show it to Chris. Do you think he can visit us down in Puerto Lobo? Morning, Sean. Pretty far away for a sleepover, right? I know, I know. I just can't wait for us to hang out again. <laughs> These guys are like social directors here. I still love to party. Look at that. I thought there was only vultures in the desert.
Arthur and Stanley cannot wait for the 4th of July. <sighs> Me neither. Oh, not again. <laughs> it's kind of cute, though. <laughs> you think they picked this up at the gas station? I hope not. It's too cute. <laughs> Looks like Brody, the bear. Wonder where he's at now. <laughs> he could write her whole story. Hey, what's up? Morning, Sean. Join us. Have a seat. Hey, just in time for our special desert brew. And thus free. Thanks. So much. Sean, it's too early to be so awake. No kidding. Hey, how was your sleepover in the canyon? <sighs> Amazing. We watched the sunrise. Daniel loved it, too. That's my favorite view out here. It's like ancient times, but it never gets old. Unlike us, darling. That canyon will be here long after we're gone. Hope you looked up. We did. Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Anytime. Even my daughter Becky loves to stargaze when she visits us. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. Becky is the real astronomer in the family. Wonder where she got this. From her mom, probably. Hope you guys get to meet Becky. Does she come visiting often? <sighs> Not as much as I'd want. Can't really blame her. But you know, well, some parts of the year, this place is full of friends and family. Christmas, for example. So, don't you ever get bored? Being out here is a big change. We do sometimes. We're in a desert. I miss the parks, cafes, shopping. But this place is something else. And we feel safe out here. If you could have seen me as a family man a few years ago, I had everything but nothing. Now I have nothing but everything. Thanks to this one. After we got together, we both had serious breakdowns. Then we got the hell out of the Bay Area. For the better. I hear that. I'm just so fucking tired of running. I hope me and Daniel find our own... away. You will. People come here to reset their life. Become the person they want to be. Or used to be. You're smart. You'll figure out your next direction. Right, Gramps? Speak for yourself, Grandpa. My body might be 59, but I'm 25. <laughs> uh-huh. I'll remember that on the next hike. I'm gonna see what Daniel's up to. Thanks for the desert, Brew. <laughs> These two remind me of Claire and Steven. In a weird, hippie version. Now that's some real patriots. Hey, Sean. What were you doing at Arthur and Stanley's place? You're a little too young to be stalking me, dude. Um, uh, you know what? I saw them kissing the other day. Kinda weird. What the fuck? You are a stalker. Knock it off. What? Just because I know this thing doesn't mean I'm a stalker. Hey, artist, come by Joanne's place. We're making a wild sculpture. <laughs> Hold up. I'll be over in a minute. I bet Hippie started this place. I'm starting to see why now.
No matter what happened before, Karen did hook us up here. That counts. Does it help you or anything? Karen and Joanne spend evenings playing and chatting. <sighs> kind of like me and Lila. Really? Back in the day. In your hand? Yeah. Joanne can throw a total rager out here. <sighs> but without asshole neighbors. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> this place is the ultimate playground for Daniel. I love the energy out here, with everyone building stuff as they please. We helped Joanne set up this giant vacuum with binoculars, as David calls it. It's so cool that people want to give a second life to their stuff. This is such... Joanne picks up all kinds of scraps from the desert. She even found a boat once. I love how they recycle everything into art, construction, or agriculture here. There's power cuts all the time here. But no one's really bothered by it. Joanne says she needs all this junk to grow inspiration from. What's up, Joanne? See for yourself. Man, check this out. Okay, Daniel, let's take a little break. Got it. child is something special. Yeah. I hear this one a lot. Don't worry. Mm, yeah, I bet. <laughs> but you have your own talent, Sean. I'm dead serious. <laughs> talent? Thanks. But I still have a lot to learn. Of course you do. Only dumbasses think they know everything. It's okay to not know stuff. Don't worry so much about the outcome. An artist has to take a leap of faith about every other week. So why are you all the way out here now? <laughs> Easy. I started selling my work for good money, and as soon as I did, Everyone turned into smiling sharks. Listen, if you want to be an artist, you will be. It's not always easy, but in the end, it's pretty fucking cool. Speaking of, do you mind giving me a hand here? Oh, uh, I don't know if I can. Yes, you can. I just need your input, okay? Okay. Sure. <laughs> Why not? Ah, there you go. Now, go stand over there. Daniel, you ready to start again? Oh, yes. Hold on. So, for my next trick, I'd love to see if you can connect these three pieces. I've made a model of what I have in mind here, but go ahead and be the artist. And we don't need a crane to lift this stuff. <laughs> Daniel can snap these together like block toys. Hell yeah. Let's do this. Okay, Daniel. 
Can you slam dunk the earth ball onto the base? Watch this layup. Oh, you should totally do like the model, but with the spider on top. Now, let's throw on that spider. There he goes! Be careful, Daniel. Don't want you to get hurt. Hmm. Now, let's move Mr. Pancake's head onto the pedestal. Sweet! I feel like we're almost done. Well, I think this is it. Looks good to me. Only if the muse approves. Not what I had in mind, but it's still cool. <laughs> you did a great job, Inanu. Well, Sean, Daniel, I think art might be in your family DNA. There's no escape. I think we're done for the day. Thank you so much for your help. Okay. That was fun. Joanne is so chill about her art. That's cool, Joanne trusted me to help I build her sculpture. Like it, it's kind of like this. Yeah, I've read about it. It's a video game, right? Yes, and you can build whatever you want in it. Ooh, you have to show me then. Precarious patriot, shrouded in dust. Lurid politics. Dude, remember when you totally fell asleep during that Bollywood flick? Because it was so lame after those cool cartoons. <laughs> Whatever. You miss Priya and Stanley teaching me how to dance. Super Wolf to El Diez Blo Loco. Copy. I hid something super cool for you to find. Will you accept this quest to find my secret treasure? 10 4. Okay. You're on it, Nano. Yes. Thanks, Sean. Listen carefully. You must find the two items that will reveal where the treasure is. Deal. So for the first item is near the place with many wings that cannot fly. That's nothing. That's your clue? You can do it, big brother. <laughs> I hope. And don't bother checking mom's trailer. It's outside. Anyway, she's so Getting good with warm. work. Karen. I don't know how she does it. They're warming up. Getting closer. Ahoy, matey. I found a map of a way. Yeah. Don't lose it because you'll need it to match up with the other part. <laughs> Got it. Now, arr, for the second item, you'll need to find something that eats the sun. Uh-huh. Sure.
Yo, can you give me that last hint? Are you serious? The setting item is where the sun meets the earth. You're lost, Sean. I wish Daniel wasn't the only kid in town. You're way out there, dude. Not too far. Getting warm? Getting closer. You're warming up. You're in the middle zone. Warm. If you go too far, you lose your walkie-talkie signal. You're way out there, dude. Way cold. Warm. Nope. As cold as ever. Now you're totally frozen. This part of town is dead this time of year. I should stay around here. You're lost, Sean. <laughs> You're in the middle zone. You're warming up. Getting so, closer. what are you guys up to? Hiding from the heat. Now Careful totally out there, kid. It's fire fallen from the sky. So poetic. Way I might work on my ukulele. Cold. Oh, great. You're warming up. <laughs> You're in the middle zone. Not too far. Warm. I hope the UFOs are listening. Getting warm? David always wants to help. But he's tough to figure out. Do you miss Beaver Creek? I miss having a house. But the town was kind of dead. But I really miss Chris. And Grandma and Grandpa. I'm just glad we still have family out there. Getting warm? Pretty smart. You're never gonna run out of sun in the desert. Oh, it's fun! Found it. Nice. And it's a tracing paper sheet with a red cross. Yeah. Now just smash up the other paper. And the treasure is yours, Captain Diaz. Ahoy, matey. I think I have the whole treasure map. Aye, Captain. Now you just gotta dig your way to the treasure. Hope you know where to go. 
<laughs> That's a cool ass map you drew, dude. Thanks. Chris told me everything about treasure hunting. Just grab it. You're here. Oh man, you're right there. Just look around. Guess people came here with ease and never left. This part of town is dead this time of year. I should stay around here. You're warm. Oh, man, you're right there. Just look around. Ooh. Looks like something's buried here. Yes! I think I have found the hidden treasure. <laughs> yeah! I knew you could do it. I found this under an old trailer. Looks like gold, right? Um, I'm not a prospector, but it looks like the real deal. You asked for it. Oh, I think you're spotting Mom's truck coming back. Mm. Yes, one hundred percent her. Gotcha. We'll help her out with the groceries. Watch out! I'll let him know we're back. Gotta empty that truck. I could get used to that scenery. Hey! Hey, what's up? Glad to see you survived hey. the night Good in morning. the desert. <laughs> Howdy, Sean. How was the town trip? <laughs> Hate these trips. Uh, people look at us as if we're aliens. Here come the sand people. <laughs> the deserters have returned with offerings from Das Kapital. Jolie! <laughs> oh, I missed you. Next time, you're coming with us. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Looking good. What's your secret? Defying death on a daily basis. And hydrating. Oh, right. Can't forget your goodies. Hey, <laughs> thanks, Angel. <laughs> Here. Ah, uh, you're the man, Karen. Catch you later. Take care. Hey, so how did you guys like your night in the canyon? It was amazing. So many stars. So quiet. Good call, Karen. I knew you'd like it, stargazer. Glad you got to see that. Hi, Mom. How was the town? Town life always sucks. <laughs> But we got something for you. Think fast. Whoa, yes! Thanks, David. <laughs> you want to play catch, Danny boy? Totally. Me and Dad always used to play. But I'm way better now. No matter what he's been through, he just wants to be a kid. <laughs> and play. <laughs> yep. 
Daniel hasn't been like this in forever. You've all been a good influence on him. About time you boys went camping. Hope Daniel didn't get scared by all the critters. Yeah, not anymore. He's seen a lot worse. And that made him tougher. And he can defend himself. You're right. And he does like to show off. Maybe too much. <laughs> you boys have been here over a month. And I still can't get over Daniel's... <sighs> skills. Me neither. But I never figured it out, so I don't try anymore. Well, take it from an old soldier. But you trained him well. He's a good kid. <sighs> Thanks. I tried my best. I guess it's reassuring. But what do I know? Never met someone with a superpower before. I try to be a good influence. Not always easy, but he listens to me. I don't know if I did right. Guess you never really know. Listen, raising a kid is the toughest job in the world. Trust me, combat was easier. Oh, you didn't tell me you were married. Uh, used to be. She died a few years ago. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's life. But at least I got an angry stepdaughter in the deal. <laughs> we were like oil and water, and she was always starting shit. Guess that's hard for a kid to get a new father. Especially one like me. I just had no clue how to deal with her. Wish I did. But we eventually made our peace. Anyway, we can't go back. <laughs> Nope. Thanks for talking, David. Better start my delivery now. Found some weird snacks in town. Arthur's gonna freak. <laughs> Catch you later, Sean. Oh. <sighs> okay. Time out. Oh my God. I'm gonna melt. That was awesome, Mom. Now I know why they don't play baseball in the desert. You throw way better than Sean. Yeah. <laughs> We're not done out here yet. Let's get this food inside before it melts. No problem. She is so cool. You think? <laughs> Joanne is so cool. Stanley's so cool. The heat is so cool. <laughs> You're way too easy, bro. Whatever. Can't help it if I like Karen. <laughs> Just be you and I know. I'm just saying. Don't get too cozy here. This is a rest stop. I know. That's smart that everybody takes turns shopping. I do miss that Pacific Northwest weather, sometimes. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> You've been here over a month now. What do you think of our little oasis? <sighs> this place is like another world. Don't even know how to describe it. I think you just did. It has a unique atmosphere. That's why people come here from all over the country for their own reasons. Not perfect, but it works. Hope it's worth it. It's not easy to live as outcasts off the grid. Clearly not. We ought to be almost self-sufficient. And it's a very lonely life. It's cool you found your safe space. I guess. You can't escape reality. Even here. We just live slightly apart from it. It's 
So... How did you end up here? <laughs> this place is not on the map. Like most of us, I was first brought here by someone. Maggie. After I failed to make it in New York, I was lucky enough to meet her down in Florida. She's had a tough life. This place was her getaway. She's long gone now, but her name is still written all over this place. Well, thanks for bringing us here. Oh, Sean. I'm glad I was able to help you. <laughs> By the way, can you grab your brother so we can all talk? Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, I just thought we could spend this day together. Just the three of us. Big brother to Superwolf. We need you at Karen's trailer. Copy? Sure. I mean, 10 4. <laughs> Hola, compadre. How about a trek around the canyon today? You in? Totally. Let's pack then. should have camped near that little creek. It was so perfect. Nah. You'll need a good night's sleep after all this. And the car's just half a mile down the path. This place makes for a pretty cool bedroom, though. Man. I'm beat. Oh, sorry. Just got one last thing to show you guys. I can't get enough of this place. <sighs> <sighs> Come on, Daniel. Give me your hand. <clears throat> <sighs> Slow down, Mom. You walk too fast. More walk, less talk. Then you'll pass me up. <laughs> Guys, check this out. Now this is nature's art. It's so big and pretty. And so quiet except for the birds of prey. Shh. Listen. Serious? If we're lucky, yeah. Oh! Oh, oh! Uh-oh. I hear a wolf. Better be careful of hunters out here. The wolf brothers can't be trapped. You'd help us. You must hide all the time, Mom. There's not a lot to do, but it's enough for me. Good thing Joanne likes to come with me. Oh, I bet she would be fun to go hiking with. Well, not when I go too fast. She's all about the journey. We usually find a good pace. Uh, <laughs> usually. Joanne is like Sean. They make art, so they stop to look at stuff. You're way more like me. Fast. Yeah, I am like you, Daniel. So let's hurry up. <sighs> I love to come here to get away from... <laughs> away. I bet. It's the best spot. <laughs> Let's sit down. So, hey, 
I do appreciate that you guys stuck around this long. Thank you. So, now that you know us better, do you kind of regret leaving and everything? I made a decision to never have regrets. Although, you two would be the best reason. Just know I love both of you so much, and I'm proud of who you are, and where you're going. Karen, be honest. Do you think we'll make it to Mexico? <laughs> you made it this far, going through hell. I hope so, Sean. You both deserve it. But... I have to be upfront with both of you. What happened in Haven Point is catching up on us. Huh? What do you mean? When we were in town, uh, we saw some stories in the papers. The feds are definitely tracking us down in the region. Shit. And they'll find us. Well, figures. This can last forever. So, this is it? See you, Nana. We'll leave tomorrow. Can you hand me that bag, Sean? That's why I brought you back here. I made these for the 4th of July, but this is better. Oh, I love those things. Whoa, awesome. Cool. Let's light up the sky.
Um, are you guys all set up to leave? No. So that's we have to leave again. I think... I'm kind of scared. Oh, oh honey. What are you gonna do now? Take off and hide? Not this time. <laughs> I can't just run from this forever. So I'll do what I have to, to help you. It won't be easy crossing that border. So I'm gonna give you a head start on the police. Wait, how? What's your plan? The cops are after me too, for what happened in Nevada. So they can catch me instead of you. Fair trade. Mom, they'll go to jail for helping us. It's not about me right now. We need to get your asses to Puerto Lobos. You don't have to do this, Karen. I let you guys down before. Not this time. I knew what I was doing when I came to Haven Point looking for your brother. I felt it was the right thing to do. And I feel the same today. I tried to live by my own rules, no matter what. I don't expect you boys to be like me. But try to stay true to yourselves. This is your life. Don't let anybody get in the way. Fuck the rules. We'll do whatever we can to survive. That's fair. Yes, it is. You took care of Daniel all the way from Seattle to Arizona. Nobody could ask for a better brother. Or son. Okay. This is the last roundup. Wait, let me see bye to Joanne. All right. I'm gonna go do one last checkup on the truck before you hit it. And don't forget what we talked about. It's your life, Sean. Uh, you should go see David. He has something for you. Okay. Look at that. They won't ever leave us alone. Hey, Karen. I'm better with drawing than writing, but still, here it goes. We're both so different, and I get now that it's okay. It is what it is. I'm sorry for getting you into this mess. It is ours to deal with, and you shouldn't be involved. We'll try to reach out once the dust has settled, if we can. Good luck with life, and... everything. Sean. Karen takes on some small 
Peace works for a Prout is so good at describing painful situations. And seeing the good into it. Yeah, I ghosted her. But so glad to see Lila's back. Okay, dude, don't forget about David. David always wants to help, but he's tough to figure out. John. Hey, Karen said you wanted to see me? Yeah, but go grab that police scanner inside first. I gotta put these new plates on the car. Sure. Come on. I'll join you when I'm done. Must be his wife. <laughs> Time's taking a serious toll on him since this. Poor guy. Wonder where David got this police scanner. As if money could make up for everything he's lost. Arthur said David could fix anything. <laughs> he hopes. That must have been the best meal ever to frame it on the wall. That must have been the best meal ever to frame it on the wall. <laughs> yeah, me and David won't be sharing any playlist. Hmm. They look cool. I wonder which one is his daughter. Cool portraits. <laughs> Didn't think David had a taste for the arts. Yep. David is ready for that apocalypse. Or whatever. Damn. I see why David ended up out here. But he still was a hero. Okay, how does this thing work? Uh, okay. We gotta search between 140 and 160. Mm, don't think so. Keep scanning. 
Mm. Don't think so. Keep scanning. This place has too many adults. But I'm gonna miss it. Doesn't sound like cops. Uh, 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 136, <laughs> listening. We've got reports of a. Wait, is this it? By, uh, Sam's? <laughs> now we can spy on the cops all the way to Mexico. <laughs> Thanks, David. You big rebel. Mom's car is all ready to roll. Did you get the police scanner? <laughs> yep. And I found the police frequency. How about that? Good job. Now, you'll always want to know what they're up to. No surprises on your way to the border. All right. This is the fastest route. When you get there, cross between these two stations. Now. You have to exit the main road and drive through the desert for a while. But Karen's car should be okay. You got all that? Hmm. <laughs> sure. I think so. Sean, you have to know. The police are on your ass. Y you only get one chance here. I'm not trying to be a dick. Just honest. I know, David. Thanks. Here. Have a seat. I don't mean to order you around. Bad habits die hard. And yes, I was suspicious when Karen showed up with you two. But after watching you and your little brother for a while, I think I get what you're going through. When our town was destroyed by that hurricane. Now, my stepdaughter and her friend were among the only survivors. We lost everyone else. Jeez. I'm sorry. I used to hate them for running away. They hit the road straight away, never to look back, while I was trying to rebuild. So, why did you come here in the end? I had to. Arcadia Bay would have been my grave. I met Steve. He owns the house behind Stanley and Arthur's. He'd lost relatives in the storm, too. So I was in a really bad shape. We became friends. 
and he told me about this place. How I could start fresh here. He was right. And I know that moving on is a, a tough process. No matter the situation. Sean, I'm going to do everything I can to help you get out of here. That's my duty now. But I want to be straight up with you, okay? Yeah, of course. I know you guys got screwed. But you think nobody will ever believe you. But the truth is on your side. You and Daniel can't just hide out forever. Is that how you see yourself in 10 years? If you step up and face the law, you can be free sooner than later. I don't know. I might turn myself in after I see what happens with Daniel. I know you want to settle down first, but keep your options open. Think about it. And Daniel is growing up fast. Too fast. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. You made it here. So I know you're on the right path. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry. I really have to take this. Hey, sweetie. What's up? No shit. Told you New Yorkers were assholes. Yeah, I know. How about that other gallery she told me about? Cool. Fingers crossed then. Nah, your old man doesn't fear the heat. <laughs> yeah, those solar panels are finally up and running. You'll see them next time you come by. Uh, I don't know. Maybe if you drive down to Louisiana or Texas. That'd be cool. Yeah, gotcha. All right. Take care then. Wish Max luck for me, okay? Bye-bye. Love ya. It will be weird to be back on the road with Daniel, after all this time in a community. David always wants to help, but he's to figure out. Okay, old gal. Let's check you out one last time. Hey. Oh. Need any help? Just checking out the levels and cleaning up the filters. So, do you think your truck will make it all the way to the border? Oh, it will. It's never failed me before. How long have you been driving for? Not long enough. Dad taught me, but... I always had other plans. We didn't go cruising too much. <laughs> Esteban was obsessed with his engines. That doesn't mean you had to be, too. Yeah. 
He only wanted me to find my own way. Whatever that was. Wish I had more time. Listen, Esteban loved you and Daniel for exactly who you are. He would be proud that you're going back to his homeland today. Wish he was here with us. It's bullshit that we get to see Puerto Lobos, but he doesn't. I know. But Esteban is still with you. And he always wanted you and Daniel to see where he came from. I don't know anything about Mexico. It's scary. Sean, you're carrying the weight of two people on your shoulders now. It's okay to be nervous. I'm just tired of running. Of causing trouble everywhere we go. Daniel's power is overwhelming, and we don't know where it comes from. But you do know your brother. You'll be there for each other. Yeah. Daniel's power freaks me out. I only hope he'll never have to use it again after we cross that border. Your brother sure isn't a little kid anymore. He had to grow up too fast. He wants to be equals, and you guys are gonna have to work together. He may even help you make it. Like you know all about being a parent. <laughs> Didn't say I did, smartass. But I do know some things about people, including you. Okay. Better get back to my tune-up. All right. I'll make one last round before leaving. Daniel, do you copy? Time to wrap it up. Be right there. Over. So, did you get to say goodbye to Away? Yeah. Kind of sad. I know. Are we leaving yet? We have to, Inano. Come here. Mom, I. I'm gonna miss you. I'll miss you too, Danny. It was amazing to spend this time with you. I'm so damn proud of you both and what you're gonna do with your life. And if you ever need me, I'm just around the corner. Okay, Mom. Thank you. Well, Sean, this is it. Thank you for helping us, Karen. Seriously. I wish I could have done more. <sighs> Let's hit the road.
Hey. Is something wrong? We're almost there, okay? That's the last time I have to say that. I don't care about that. So... What's the problem? What... What are we gonna do in Puerto Lobos? We don't know anybody. We're like strangers. How long can we live there? Um, as long as we want. We have a house there. That's what Dad wanted, and I know. So, what are we gonna do for money and stuff? I get a job, man. It won't be hard. You can probably go to school. Dude, I can't even speak Spanish. How can I make friends or do anything if I can't talk? Everybody likes you, man. You'll be the cool American kid in no time. I can do that. Maybe. You fit in everywhere we go. And we'll get to hang out, too. Um... Well, that sounds okay. I guess. Daniel... I get scared, too, you know? But we'll be... We'll be fine. Okay. I trust you. Dude, it's just a giant fence. Except it won't keep us in. All units be advised. After the raid on the way, there was no sign of Sean and Daniel Diaz. We believe they left within the past few hours. The two brothers are still considered armed and dangerous. Proceed with caution. At this time, only the mother of the fugitives has been arrested. Oh no. Sean! Why would they arrest Mom? Why? So they can give her shit. But she didn't do anything. The cops will have to let her go. I hope so. Why can't they just leave us alone? They're going to. Once we're over that fucking wall. This shit lasts until Puerto Lobos. 
Unless our car breaks down in the desert. Uh, hey. Sean? Why would they build this? Well, you know, it's a border, man. Is there a wall like this up north? Nah, not really. So, why did they build one here? I don't know, Daniel. That sucks. Is Dad's house in Mexico going to be totally trash, or what? I'm sure it is. Whatever. That's a good project for us, right? I know. It's going to be super easy with my power. Shit. I didn't think there would be more than a barbed wire fence out here. So, here we are, Daniel. The end of the road. Finally. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Take it easy. You can do it. to brawl? Uh, almost. It's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. Shh. Breathe. <laughs> we did it! <gasps> we fucked that shit up. <laughs> yes! <sighs> it's all thanks to you. It's gonna be all right now. You've done the hardest part. Thanks for taking me down here, Sean. <laughs> nah. We did it together, man. Come on. Let's go back to the car. Oh, man! Oh, I cannot wait to go swimming in the ocean! That would be cool if we could just walk to the beach. Can't wait to go shopping. I'm dying to get some Choco Crisp. It'll be so Daniel! Daniel, talk to me! Daniel! Talk to me! Oh. 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 No. No way, not now! Daniel! Hey! Who are you? Did 
you shoot my brother? Hey, oh! Oh! oh, shit, Madison. I told you it was a fucking kid. Get off of me! Get off of me! Well, Daniel! Is he? He's my brother! He's okay. Bullet just grazed Let him. Let me go! Do not move if you want to keep that arm. Comprende? Keep an eye on the wall. These fuckers blew it up so their friends can cross. Daniel! So what's the plan, huh? I bet there's a dozen more coming through, right? No! We're leaving! We're going to Mexico, I swear! Wait, wait. You're trying to break into Mexico. <laughs> That's fucking funny. We're Americans! Americans, damn it! No, it's not legal to blow up walls. That's called terrorism. You get it? Do we look like terrorists? We're just kids. Not after you blow a wall up. So tell me the plan. That was not us. We have no idea how it happened. Hey, don't fuck with us, kid. You're the only ones around. Looks like no one's coming for now. Anyway, don't waste your energy. I bet the Border Patrol has a big plan for you, mister. Madison, come on. We have to deal with this kid. Don't, Stop bleeding. Don't touch him. Get off. D don't move. What? What the fuck? Get it off. Stop. Get it off. Jesus. What the fuck is going on? Where's Spencer? He's off duty today. Why? <laughs> Listen, uh, we have a deal. He knows. Yeah, I heard about this crap. Not happening anymore. Come on, Maddie. Do what the officer says. <laughs> Fuck. How old is he? He's all right, officer. Don't worry. Shut it. You're both coming with me to the station. What? Are you kidding? What? They're illegal. <sighs> Fuck's sake. What I say. Oh. Uh, okay. Take a breath. You okay now? Daniel! What? I, I'm sorry, are you Sean? Sean Diaz? You're under arrest. Don't look at me. Estás bien? Sí. Yo soy Diego. Mi mi esposa Carla y este frijolito de aquí es um, es Ángel. Oh, Ángela. Encantado. Eh, soy Sean. ¿Cómo te sientes, hijo? Um, ¿Han visto un niño de 10 años? Es mi hermanito. Nos separaron uh, cerca del muro. Está herido. Lo llevaron a la enfermería. Si fuera grave, una ambulancia ya habría venido a buscarlo. Si lo dejaron aquí, quiere decir que está bien. Tranquilo, amigo. Aquí no hacen daño a los niños.
I hope that Campbell's no way I can break through work. that door without Daniel's help. We're, out, we're not coming back. Ugh, this place I wonder how long they've been gross. here. And why? What the hell is wrong with these people? Jeez. Wonder how many people have been locked up in here. <sighs> Thanks. I'll remember that. Como estas, cariño? This guy must be trained not to listen to anything we say. What the hell is wrong with these people? Seriously? Why are you doing this? What's your problem? Doing what? You shot my ten-year-old brother! It was a mistake. It's just a graze. The fall is what knocked him out. Oh, you don't have to talk to him, Dad. <sighs> Pero cuánto tiempo nos van a tener aquí? No sé. Hay tiempo suficiente de, de disuadirnos para volver. <sighs> so tired of all this shit. When will we get a break? Saben cuánto tiempo nos van a dejar aquí? No. Esta es la primera vez que intentan cruzar. Me acuerdo de nuestra primera vez. Casi morimos de sed en el desierto. En realidad. Queremos llegar a México. ¿A México? No mames. Pero, ¿por qué? Entonces son gringos. Sí, nacimos aquí, pero ahora tenemos que irnos. Todos estamos escapando de algo. Es la tercera vez que intentamos cruzar la frontera. ¿Por qué necesitan cruzar tan desesperadamente por las mismas razones que todos no pudimos soportar la inseguridad ni la miseria en México la violencia tiene muchas formas no se puede vivir así cuando mi hermano fue secuestrado y, y asesinado por una pandilla nos fuimos si hubiésemos pedido quedarnos nos habríamos quedado en nuestro pueblo pero queremos darle una vida Una vida mejor a nuestro hijo o hija. Los Estados Unidos no es el paraíso que esperan. En serio, mucha gente viene aquí pensando que van a vivir el American Dream. Pero muchos no lo logran. Sin embargo, tenemos que probar. Nosotros también merecemos un poco de esperanza. No quiero desanimarte, amigo. Pero lo de México... no va a ser fácil para ustedes. Es un país magnífico. Y me cuesta muchísimo dejarlo, pero... Allá va a ser muy complicado cumplir tus sueños. Ya no tengo sueños aquí. Sean, has vivido en este país toda tu vida con un padre mexicano. Y ahora los tiempos han cambiado. ¿Cómo crees que va a ser todo en el futuro? Los tiempos cambian. Pero la gente también. En el camino... Encontré muchos aliados. Ojalá haya menos personas intolerantes en el futuro. Ojalá. Cuando eres extranjero... Tienes que trabajar aún más duro para arreglarte más. Así funciona. Oh, shit. Enough now. It's America. We speak English. 
We're just talking. No, the problem is you people breaking into my country. We come here to work, N not steal or live at your, at your home. Diego, no, I am so fucking tired. You only come here to cause trouble. And we have to pay for your welfare. You all want a free ride. And that makes me sick. Immigrants built this country. Where did the founding fathers come from, huh? No, 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 that was different. They made the laws. They wouldn't stand by and let this happen. We only want work and, and, and in peace. Yes. An honest job and the ability to raise our child in a safe country. That's all we're looking for. <laughs> That's what you people always say. But the facts speak for themselves. My dad was an immigrant, and he worked his ass off, raised a family, and made a business. Yeah, and his son ended up in jail. What a role model. Thanks for proving my point. Damn right, baby girl. You hunt us like, 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 like animals. I don't think I have a choice. I want the safest country for my children. See? You love your family like us. We don't go walking hundreds of miles in the desert and risking everything for no reason. We do it for our child. A mother must understand. No, you and your unborn parasite have nothing in common with me and my family. <laughs> what? Maddie. What you say? <laughs> oh, see? There you go. Take it easy. This is our country. You win. I would like to get out of here soon. No, you no va a ganar. Dile esto, Carla. Ya, basta. No vale más. Fuck you, you wetback. You and your what girlfriend. The fuck? Yo! Madison! Everybody calm down. <sighs> Campbell, tell me we're out of here. Why are we stuck down here with them? You know us. We're helping you, goddammit! Hey, you have the right to remain silent, so fucking use it, okay? <sighs> All right. Diaz, you're up. How's my brother? Don't worry about him. Now turn around. Hands behind your back. And no more fighting down here, or I'm gonna get mean. Okay? Let's move it. All right. Sit down. Where's my brother? He's doing fine for a kid who got grazed by a bullet. Lost some blood. But he's tough. They're taking care of him at the infirmary. You want coffee? Okay. Good. Be right back. Fuck. What did they... No point in getting these off. I hope he's all right. No, I got a solution. Don't you know how dangerous? Great. Now I can put on a fucking show. Why do you? Oh, shit. Is it morning already? Uh, Haven't seen Daniel since yesterday. No, never. We have to how am I gonna get myself out of this mess? Well, good job. Of course not. Shut up! What? You don't get to talk to me like that, Bobacita. You understand? Oh, Hope Daniel doesn't freak out in here.
There you go. Looks like you need it. Thanks. All right. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Damn. Seriously? Yeah. No. Coffee's gonna make yeah. me feel so much better. <sighs> At least it'll keep me up. Jeez. That's quite a crime spree. It's hard to believe what kids can do nowadays. Killing that officer in Seattle. Vandalizing a motel room. Caught in a, another weird explosion at a pot farm in California. Then you join a religious commune in Nevada. Hmm. Oh. Which ends up burnt to the ground. And... We're not even halfway down the list. One of those things you could get away with. But not all that. It sounds crazy, but I can explain. Explain it to Agent Flores. She's on her way now. She spoke to your mother, who took responsibility for the church fire. She says a lot. Who cares? You don't have any proof. But sure, throw another innocent in jail. I don't really care. <laughs> I bet she'd be happy to hear that. Listen, I feel sorry for you. I really do. But denying what you did will only make things worse. I did what I had to do. I needed to protect my brother. I know, son. But running away from trouble is never a good solution. You know, I read the report. You claim that Officer Matthew's death was an accident. So why didn't you wait for the police? I panicked, okay? Then it was too late. We were already criminals. Well, it's no reason to make things worse by running away, kid. Good news is, your brother's too young to be prosecuted. He'll end up with your grandparents, if they want him. But you're facing a shitload of years between bars. At least he'll get a life. Uh, what I don't get is how two kids can destroy so much stuff. I mean, anywhere you went, something blew up. Seriously. How? Those were just random accidents. Yeah, it's crazy, but... It just happens around us. I can't explain it. Uh-huh. Listen. Once is an accident. Twice is luck. Three times is enemy action. Whoa! Uh, what is that? Sir? I don't think you should... Keep your ass in that seat. You okay? How do you feel? I, I'm okay. Just a little headache. Hold on. Dude, we gotta go. Hold up. Is he okay? I I wanted to rescue you, but I, I had to use my power. I didn't want to hurt him. He's okay. Don't worry. Come on, bullshit. you gotta go. Get us out of here. I'm 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 here. I'm
on? Shall we try to make peace with these morons? Well, Carla and Diego, they came all the way from Mexico and got thrown in jail for it. As for the others, they're the ones who try to shoot you. What? They got locked up? Good. Oh, go to hell. Hold on. We're gonna get you out. Daniel? Wow. That's it. Gracias. Muchas gracias. Espérenme aquí. Until I check this out. Of course. Holy mother! How'd you do that? How? Well, what the fuck are you? Gracias. <gasps> you think I killed him? No, no. He's out for the count. Okay, oh, hands up! Shit! Don't right up. shoot! Hands up! Do not move! Wait! Sean? Stay back, Daniel. Let me think. Sean, what do I do? Quick. I gotta find something to stop them. We got multiple officers down! Don't stop them! Get them! Get They're dangerous! Be the careful! We will shoot if we need to. Understand? What the fuck? I'm scared. Do something. Fire extinguisher. Fuck! Okay, what the fuck? Do not move! Don't do anything! This is a Throw that locker! I didn't want to hurt anybody anymore. You saved us. You had no choice. Now let's bail. Sean, I think our things are in there. Our shit is still here. Fine, good news. Step back. Nice. Don't move. I'll be right back. Okay, but be quick. They must really feel threatened to put so much effort into this. After this, you're not gonna hunt shit anymore. Bet it belongs to one of these trigger happy people. Look at that. There's probably Crime Central. Let's go! We would be so dead if we didn't have Daniel's power. Take it out, Daniel. Que Dios los bendiga. Okay, go, go. Let's roll, Daniel. Chasing us. Not yet. Emergency. This is an all points bulletin for every unit in the area. Multiple prisoners, two adults, and two teenagers have escaped from the El Ray police station. They are considered armed and dangerous. Repeat. Are we still going to Mexico? Yeah. We got nowhere else to go.
Sean, it's the 4th of July. Our first one without Dad. You're right. Remember how he was so in the fireworks every year? He always made us go too early so we could get a good spot. I know. He is so corny. He said he was proud to live in this country. What are we gonna do? Sean! Sean Diaz! It's over! Don't make this worse! Get out of the car! Slow! Wave your hand above your head! Do exactly what I say! You know that day in Seattle, the day Dad was shot? I think about it every day. And I would give anything to change what happened. But I can't. I'm sorry for my mistakes. I tried my best. I swear. Sean. I'm so proud of you, Nano. Just like Dad would be. We both learned a lot together. But you can make your own rules now. If we surrender, they will separate us, Daniel. And if that happens, promise me that you will always do the right thing, okay? Don't. Waste your power. Be smart like you already are. I don't want to be separated. Please. Don't make any more mistakes. Whatever happens, always remember that you're Daniel Diaz. I promise, Sean. So, how does the story of the Wolf Brothers end? I think their story ends right here. Here? But I, I could... I get it. That's not who we are. Exactly. We're not criminals. We're just kids. And we still have time to choose what life we want to live. You're my brother. And I love you. I... I love you too, Sean. It's gonna be <laughs> alright. I promise. You promise? Of 
for real this time? I do. We're doing the right thing. Just... Try and remember what I taught you. I mean... Only the good shit. I will. I swear. On your knees! I said on your knees now! I'm sorry about all this. We're gonna look after your brother. That's my word. He's ready. Sean! No! Sean! Oye, oye, oye. Come back! He's gonna be fine. Daniel! You're not a little wolf anymore. Never forget who you are. Never.